Alright, this is a replay, and um, I'm bringing this uh, replay up because of the great teamwork involved in the Halloween special program here, scenario where we're trans uh, are escorting the Transylvania. Uh, I'm in the blade, and uh, we do very well. We almost win. I have yet to win. <laughs> on the uh, escort duty. Um, I'm in the uh, the blade and uh, this seems to be the only scenario where I can drive a, uh, a, a destroyer decently. So you can see the team there and automatically off to the left on the chat you'll see myself and other players calling out instructions. There are some things you've really got to pay attention to in escort uh, that uh, you don't have to pay attention to in the regular game. Uh, shoot the catapults first uh, because they do heavy damage and shoot them with AP. Don't get closer than four kilometers to enemy ships because the secondaries are going to light you up. General quarters. Now one guy says uh, to not get in the circle so that we can pull ahead of the Transylvania. Um, I missed that, uh, even in the previous posts uh, in the forum, I missed that. So I went ahead and entered. Sorry about that. I don't know if we're going to get that much of an advantage pulling ahead. There has to be friendly ships in the circle in order for the Transylvania to move forward. The more ships in the circle, the faster it moves. It might be a good idea to stay out of the circle at the beginning so you can pull on out ahead and start inflicting damage on the catapults and the enemy battleships that will show up. Later in the game, three enemy battleships will show up behind us. They don't shoot at you. Now that is a fireball from the catapult. Those things will mess you up. Stay on the rudder. Stay on the rudder. If you don't stay on the rudder in this particular kind of game, uh, boy, your history. So I have been through the game, uh, this particular game, uh, I think four or five times now, and I have a pretty good idea where the enemies are going to materialize. So, I'm um, just going to charge in with torpedoes. I know there's a friendly destroyer to my left, but I'm on uh, engine boost, so I'll be able to shoot without risking hurting him. And with all friendlies in such close proximity, you're going to see an awful lot of team damage. But I got to within four kilometers of this guy, and he's going to light me up. Boom. First hit, and I'm on fire. The ship is on fire. But fires don't do as much damage on uh, this scenario as they do on others. Our other destroyer fired a couple of torps, but I'm going to miss those. Close, but I'm going to miss them. So he timed his torpedo fires really 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 well and I've already landed one torpedo and I just landed another one there's a smoke screen over there I can use that but I've got to uh, deal with this guy first okay that enemy's gone so I am going to turn and get a little closer to my clan and launch some torps at this guy uh, remember where these three enemy ships materialized or spawned because they typically spawn at the very same place so you can get uh, you can get a little headways on them and I did uh, use a smoke screen what I was trying to do was protect the Transylvania from this guy After these first three destroyers or, or uh, battleships are gone, uh, you do have some breathing room before uh, the next encounter comes up. So I put out the fire 
and click on uh, rejuvenate my health. Now this catapult will go down fairly quickly. There are no other uh, enemies. There is another enemy catapult that's just coming into range now. Yep, and he's firing. But still, you've only got two enemy catapults to worry about here. Did you see how much damage that fireball did to that pink destroyer? You've got to take out those catapults. Stay on the rudder, because they will mess you up. It took out half of his health. He was full health. Oof, that was close. Now you notice I'm kind of winding my way to uh, B7, B6. I know that the enemy is going to materialize over here. So I want to be close, but not too close. And I slow down a bit. We just had another catapult come online. Okay, there they are. And I'm at four kilometers. Oh, and there's another guy right in front of me. Holy mackerel. Three kilometers. Two kilometers. So I had to wait for my friend. You can see how much... Uh, team damage there is inflicted in this game. Everybody's in very close proximity. Now we've got the three battleships that have materialized back where we started. Don't worry about them. They are not even going to shoot at us. They're just meant to drive us. Okay, two more torpedo hits. And he's gone. Alright. So we got one enemy battleship more or less behind us. I'm going to concentrate on this guy. You see I've been put on fire a number of times, but I haven't lost much health. Fires don't do much. But they can. And friendly fire will mess you up every time. Alright, so we wiped out all the immediate threat battleships. We haven't lost any of buddy from our team yet, but they're definitely shooting at each other. Yeah, this is where I tell everybody to ignore the enemy BBs behind us. Caps lock is on again. Hopefully they will, because those enemies are not shooting at us. All right, so we got a new catapult. And we're about to have a bunch more destroyers materialize. Watch on the mini-map where those enemy battleships emerge. Did I say destroyers? No, they're battleships. Because those enemy ships always materialize more or less in the same place. The only destroyer I've seen, aside from the British uh, destroyers, that can repair lost hit points. Not just stop damage from happening, but actually give you back hit points that you'd lost. So everybody's focusing on that uh, catapult. That's good. He won't be around for long. Okay, we have a new friend, a new enemy, but he's got quite a bit of people shooting at him, so I'm going to stay on this catapult. And we just had another battleship materialize, 
and a third. So I'm going to go after this guy at 6.4, 6.2, 6.0. Here we go. And hopefully my destroyer will keep turning. Yes, he is. Good. If he had gone straight, he'd be in dan danger. Now this is where um, I pull probably the best move I've ever pulled in a destroyer. The Transylvania, you know where it's at on the mini-map, it's coming along my right. I am popping smoke, and that's going to protect this battleship and the Transylvania right behind him from attack from the ship that I just took a shot at with Torps and the one behind me. Then I turn around to get behind my own smoke screen and launch another salvo. So I'm quite well protected. Land at a torque. Our friends took care of the battleship that was moving in from the north. Landed another hit. Landed another hit. He's flooding too. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes. And he's gone. So we're about to have a couple more enemy battleships materialize. Pay attention to where they come from because uh, they're always going to come from the same place, more or less. There they are. Four, five, six on the north. And I know we're going to have a couple more come in from the south. Plus the rest of is about to show up. Hmm. Okay. Where are they? Well, the Rasputin just showed up. He's at 11.4, so I got time. So I'm going to go uh, take some shots at these guys over here. Oh, okay, and we got two coming behind us as well. Our friendly destroyer stopped dead in the middle of that, and when he does move, he's going to be moving forward. I've got two enemy battleships coming up behind the Transylvania that have to be dealt with because these guys are going to shoot, shoot at us. I'm within four kilometers so he's going to open up on me. Alright, those uh, torpedoes I sent off to the north, I scored a hit. Scored another hit. And flooding got him. Still got one more guy back there. Alright, so let's see what we can see. I know the rest mutants moving in. He's still some distance away. We've got two enemy battleships very close. I've got to go put some effort on them. Lay down some fire. You didn't see it, but I did launch a torpedo spread at uh, G9. So I'm close. I'm to within two kilometers of these guys, but we've got to stop them. shot there. Okay, scored another hit. If you can wait till a count of six or seven between torpedo spreads, do it. You'll be glad you did. Okay, here's the Rasputin. He is going after me with the secondaries. I guess I'm an easy target, and that's a friend that he's lit on fire from stem to stern. So, heck, 
Charge in. I want this guy. I've never sought the Rasputin. Until now. Alright, but I've got another guy right on my tail. That's the first Rasputin I've ever sunk. And I had help doing it. Okay, we've got an enemy battleship moving into the Transylvania Circle. That's really bad news. So there's only me and the Transylvania and one other destroyer. I cannot send torps, but I am going to try and put some shots into them. This is a bad situation. I'm very worried about shooting our own ship. Maybe I can put some tarps into them. I will take a look at it, but uh, no. Oh, he just ran. Now, if you take a look at the uh, health monitor of the Transylvania, how many hit points they've got there, slowly, slowly whittling down. And I think we're going to lose it. Uh, so uh, we're not going to have any other enemy ships show up. Uh, I caused 18 floodings. I landed 19 torpedo hits and sunk four. Uh, looks like one incapacitation. A few other things. Four hits with my guns. Did 123,759 in damage. Notice that the battleships behind us are well within range, but they're not shooting. Those ships are just meant to drive you. I'm sure if you got to within four kilometers, their secondaries would open up on you. But this is by far the best I have ever done on this particular game. Yep, lost to Transylvania. And that's a bummer. I have yet to win on this map. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun.